Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? I have a dream I want to share with you guys. Um, it's a dream and also I also want to share a vision that I had right after I had this dream. I woke up from this dream this morning and I was quite startled. So um, let me just go right into it. This morning I went into this dream and this is how it started off. I was in this house. It didn't look like the home I was living in right now. It looked like a different home. And in this house, there was a lot of people. It was more room in this house. It was a lot of room. But what I realized was everybody was getting ready for this party. And I was in my room and I was preparing my daughter, like getting my baby ready. And all I can hear is a lot of commotion outside. I didn't know what was happening, so I looked outside the window, and when I look outside the window, as I'm putting my daughter's outfit on, I noticed it was ringing hell of fire, like fireballs was just falling from the sky, and then I realized these were a bunch of meteors, like it was so many of them you could not count how many meteors was just falling off the sky it if it looked like a rain like it was ringing like it was crazy and i'm looking like oh my gosh this is crazy i was like and i just kept saying hellfire hellfire is falling down the sky i'm not sure why i said it like that but that's what i kept saying and then i saw a big like a big meteor was coming down like a little like it was like an asteroid or something and it was coming down it was coming out really fast and then I noticed it was getting closer and closer and it was just coming so fast and it fell right in the back of my house right in the back of the window where I was looking at it fell right there and when it fell down like all these little meteors that was dropping, it felt like it was a bunch of bombs going off everywhere, you know. Every time they dropped, it was like a bomb going off all over the place. Houses being burnt down, broken, all type of stuff. But when this one big giant meteor fell down, I would say the size of a big old truck, you know. That's how big this meteor was. And when it fell down, I went outside. Like, I, I went outside. I was holding on to my baby. I went outside. And when I looked at it, it was a big, giant rock. Still still was on fire. But I noticed it started cracking. Yeah, it was like cracking and everything. And the top part came out. And what I saw was a man was coming out of it. A male figure was coming out of it. But when I looked at him, he had like, he was all burnt up. His face, everything, his arm, everything was burnt up. Waist down, he was not, he, he was still stuck in the rock. Like it was cracking completely. And his face started rejuvenating itself, like replenishing. I, I noticed that his face was, you know, just becoming normal, like... Like nothing ever happened. It was just weird. Like I was like, what the heck? He's like, he's completely like healing really, really, really quick. And you could see the figure, the person, like it's becoming a person. And then I, I don't know what happened, but something in my spirit said, Satan is here. Oh my God, this is Satan. And I was screaming. I was like, oh my gosh, it's Satan, it's Satan, it's Lucifer. So I ran, I ran outside and started screaming out to everybody. Like there was so many people outside because everybody was outside looking at these meteor and the big asteroid that just fell in my backyard. So I ran outside and I told everybody, run, run, Lucifer is here, Lucifer is coming. And everybody started screaming, like they was just screaming, ah, and they started running. But like a few people, like I would say 20% of those people that was, that was there stopped. They didn't run. They stopped. 
Okay, yeah, this is what they did. They stopped, they got on their knees, bowed down, they kneeled down, and they started bowing down, and they were worshiping Satan. They were like, no, 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 he's our God. Like, they were like, that, that's our God. Hail to, you know, hail to that guy. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you guys crazy? Are you guys crazy? What's wrong with you people? And then I just started running. I didn't even look back. I didn't want to look back. I just started running. And then, um, and then I just remember, um, I just remember waking up like startled my daughter woke me up like I was so shocked like the way I woke up it felt like literally it felt like I had left my body and I quickly jumped right back into my body I I, I woke up startled like <gasps> like it, it just it was like the weirdest feeling waking up from this dream it was crazy and when I woke up and I, I, I feel weird because I I didn't get to finish the dream. I really wanted to finish this dream. I wanted to see how far this dream would go. Because this man had just came down and fell off the sky along with all these little meteors that was falling down. It was crazy. It was really, really, really crazy. And then, um, so I woke up, right? I had this dream. So my daughter woke me up and... You know, she was crying and everything. So I gave her a bottle. I gave her something to eat. I mean, you know, drink. So I'm sitting here watching my daughter while she's she's falling asleep as I'm feeding her. And all of a sudden, I noticed that I went into a vision. Like, um, my eyes are still open. I'm, I'm still sitting up. And I went into a vision like quickly like it was a quick vision and this is what I saw in this vision like this is like a recording playing in my eyes why I'm awake and I'm looking like looking at this this is crazy this is happening to me I'm I I saw that I was in a in the white house and I'm watching it's like I'm standing there invisible and I'm watching all of this I'm in the white house and this man this man of power like a, a you know he's he's in the he's he's part of the he's part of the you know democrat or republican i'm not sure which party he's from but he's one of these politicians these one of these powerful politician and i just noticed that he was carrying a briefcase this man was a very important person i could not see his face he had a fog. There was a fog blocking his face as if I'm not supposed to see who this person was. I don't know why there was a fog. Like there was some kind of foggy darkness, this dark shadow just blocking his face. But he was tall. He was built probably by the way his body was built in shape. Mid 40s, early 40s, 50s, early 50s. Somewhere around that age group, I would say. I could be wrong, but that's what he mostly looked to me. And he grabbed a briefcase. A briefcase was handed to him. And it was a very important briefcase, you can tell. All I remember was seeing, as soon as he put the briefcase in his left hand, I noticed... His hand started shifting like it looked different. It didn't look like a normal human hand. One minute his hand was a normal human hand. And then the next minute his hand was all of a sudden looking like this long spiral, black, long, skinny spiral looking, gooey looking, liquidy thing was coming out of his hand it was not even a normal human hand anymore it was just this weird looking hand like you would not even put it in a human being you know not even a animal it was like a a different type of species maybe a demonic type of species i would say so i'm looking at this and i'm like this is crazy oh my god his hand is not human. And then, 
like as quick as he noticed, like as soon as he touched that briefcase, as soon as he touched that briefcase, he noticed that it was not normal. He quickly shake his hand off and it went back to normal, like a regular man, like a regular man's human hand. But this man was not human. Like in my vision, I knew he was not human. He was something else portraying to be a human being and then he walked off and then I woke I, like I got up from this dream I mean this vision I just I I I snap out of it like and I was like whoa what was that what what what, what did I just see why did I have this vision like why was I given this vision this man and why was his hand like that like we have like people that are not people it's like it's like i had this you know it's like i've been saying with that wolf and the wolf and sheep clothing and stuff like that we got some wolves in 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 the white house that are not even human we have people that are not even real people powerful people that are not like us we're definitely not alone in this world you guys and there's higher beings higher things that are way higher than us or whatever they are i don't know what they are demons whatever you want to call them this it's a deception period there's other race or species or whatever that are pretending to be human beings shapeshifter whatever you want to call them they are out there you guys and they are in the white house they are out there every, they, they they are playing powerful roles and just so you know they're not for us they're definitely not for us so i just wanted to you know share this vision with you guys share this dream with you guys because we are so close you guys i mean i know a lot of us are sounding in the alarm keep telling you guys get ready be ready because you really do need to be ready things are going to happen really really fast and you're not even going to know what's going on until it's too late you know it's going to be too late by the time you find out what's going on it's going to be too late and it's not going to be worth it being here during this time of all this that's going to happen pray that you are worthy to be taken out of here pray that you are safe you know give your life to god repent of your sins turn away from all your sins and just live for god and try to be a, the best person you can be a humble person a loving person a caring person always put others first before you you know we can't be selfish all the time. I just pray that you guys will receive this message and heed the warning. Continue to heed the warning, you guys, because so many people are warning you guys and so many people are still asleep. I can't talk to my family, my friends about stuff like this because they think I'm crazy. If I tell them that, you know, we are in the ends of time. They like they looking at me like you crazy. Like we got years. We're gonna be old. They they really believe that. I don't believe that. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't believe we have that much time left. We need to be prepared and we need to be ready for whatever is getting ready to happen. And we need to armor up, suit up, and have the Lord on our side a hundred percent. Because this is a battle that's going to be between good and evil. For we are seeing everything play out right now. For a lot of people, good is bad and bad is good. That's what I'm seeing with this world right now. It's sad. It really is sad. And I, I mean, if we could all see how sad this is, what do you think Father God is doing? How do you think He feels? And you know He can't sustain all this evil all this hate all this sin this world is full of nothing but sin and people love it they live in it they adore it. they they idolize it they <sighs> this is the world we live in i don't want to raise my kids here 
I hate this world right now. It's not. It's just not right. But I'm not going to come out here and complain about what's going on in the world. We all see what's going on in the world. Let's just continue to pray for the world. Pray for our loved ones. Pray for our family. I could really use your prayer for my little brother right now. I mean, I don't want to go into the details of what's going on with him, but can you guys please pray for my little brother? He's my youngest brother, my baby brother. Please pray for him. I pray that um, you all receive this message. Heed these warnings. The end is near. Get ready, saints. God bless you guys. I love you guys. Shalom.